Hey guys, it's Janelle McClarty from EncoreWebsites.com and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing how you would know if it's the right time to launch your website. So whether it's a relaunch and you're, let's say, changing your old website and you want to relaunch it, or let's say it's a fresh brand new site, um, I get a lot of clients who ask me, like, is it ready? How do I know? <laughs> like, you, you just don't know if it's at that final finishing stages yet. Um, but here's, I'm going to give you three things that you should do. Like, if you've done these three things, then you're ready to launch, okay? But just a little background and just, let's say, a big, big thing that I say to all my clients is that as long as your site is at least 90% to your liking, it's that's a big rule of thumb that it's time to launch because there's no such thing as a perfect site. Um, a website is like having a kid. It's forever growing and changing and evolving and developing. So there's always going to be new changes and new updates that are going to be needed. So there's never going to be a point where it's 100% maybe 99 but as long as it's 90 percent or above just move forward <laughs> so that's one thing that i tell all my clients but i'll tell you the additionals that you should definitely do before you launch so number one you should definitely go through the site and review each page like every single page so i'm talking beyond your home about services contact those pages, even the sub pages and all the links within those pages, even when you scroll down to your footer and you have like links to social medias or other platforms, check that every single link button, anything that's clickable works. So if you haven't done that, you're not ready to launch. So that is one big thing that I tell people, have you done this? They say, yes. I say, okay, let's move on to number two. After you've done that, have you sent your website link for your immediate circle to review? So friends, family members, colleagues, people within, let's say this is for a business. So any, any partners that you have or employee, employees, subcontractors, like any anybody in your immediate business circle that you trust that will be using your site, have them test it out and give you some feedback. So you maybe you missed a link and it's broken and it's not connecting to the right place and someone else caught it um maybe there's a layout issue and people are confused of where to go or how to do this or how to do that so it's good to get an idea from an outside perspective um of any tweaks or changes that you can possibly make to make your website better and the user experience better so number one as i said you specifically, like the owner of the website, you should review the website. Number two, have your immediate circle review the website. And then once you do those two things, if you feel that you are at least 90% complete and in that phase, in that headspace to actually launch, then it's time to make a launch plan, a website launch plan. So I'm gonna do a follow-up video on how to make a launch like marketing plan for your website. So there's so many ways. I'll just give you a few off the top. Um, a lot of people, when they first launch their website, they want to send it to maybe an email list that they have, um, like blast and say, hey, we have a new launch. Maybe you have a social media countdown. So on your Instagram, my website's launching in 24 hours and then, you know, click this link to view or input your email address here to be notified first. Um, press releases are amazing for website launches. So if you have a new website and you have something in particular that's um, super special about the launch, like maybe a promotion or a deal or something that's involving the community, community outreach, um, having a press release would definitely boost your visibility when it comes to launching and just um yeah make it a really successful um showcase of your new project um so those those are just a few um launch ideas but i want to give you guys like a full-blown list of 
these are some good launch strategies for a website that's just launching and you can pick from that list um, based on what your industry is because um, let's say I tell you to use Twitter to launch your website and use these particular hashtags, but that might not work for every industry because your customer base may not be on Twitter. It may be Instagram's better or Facebook, you know? So I'm going to give you a list in the next video, but these are just a few ideas. And um, yeah, once you have a launch plan and you are 90% or more um, feeling like you are ready to launch your website's at 90% completion or above, it's time to launch. That's it. <laughs> so all you do are those three things. Um, don't make it so complicated. As I said, I have a lot of clients in the past who, or currently even, who want it to be perfect and every every um, area lined up beautifully, every color scheme has to be this and that. But I'm like, listen, <laughs> it's the holiday season or it's spring coming up or like there's so many different campaigns that you could be running but you are delaying yourself from making money or selling your product or service or doing whatever your website's supposed to do you're just focusing on the wrong thing which could be just a visual color scheme thing or design thing right that you can easily tweak as the months and years pass and you can change these things so yeah, those are my suggestions um, and recommendations on when, if you do these three things, um, review your site yourself, have your immediate circle, review it, create a launch plan. If those three things are done, it's time to launch. All right, so I hope this video helps somebody out <laughs> so they're not going crazy right now thinking, oh, I don't know if I should launch or not. And um, if you do have any questions, feel free to send me an email um, at info at EncoreWebsites.com. Um, I love answering any web-related um, or online marketing-related questions. Um, so that's the best way to reach me there. And um, thank you so much for watching. If you do know of any other, let's say, video ideas you want to see or if you have a question that you may want to ask um, you can leave it in the description I mean in the comments section below and I'm gonna leave my email details as well in the description box so that's info at encorewebsites.com um, you can check out my website which is www.encorewebsites.com and you can follow me on Instagram that's where I'm the most active and it's encore websites on Instagram all right, thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.